this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears! Last time, we got Shikan on the run, so we gotta give chase and make some preparations before heading out there. What does that even mean? Gets my goat. What is that? Supposed to be, uh, an insult of some kind? I, I don't know. Are there even goats in the Xenogear universe? I don't know. But yeah, most of the townspeople that are around here, there's actually not that many. But yeah, none of them really say anything interesting. Or are party members, for that matter. So, But I do want to go back here because I do want to change up my party a little bit. Since we're not going to be on foot, we might as well get the best characters that we got on gears. So we don't need our... Yeah, armor and headgear and all that. And let's see, we're going to be replacing Maria. Uh, Bart is going to be mandatory. And I'm just going to leave my gears set up the way they are there. But let's get rid of the power magic so I can replace Maria with the best nuke that we've got. Veerd. Or, well, Ellie. Sure, why not? So, yeah, all you can do is switch around your third party member. You don't even get to move things around. I could bring Sitan with me now if I wanted to, but now I, I want the nuke to be available for us. Let's see, as far as my setup goes, let's see. Faye, I'm just going to have him in his usual physical accuracy setup. Mostly because I don't have anything better to do. Eventually, I will have something better to do, but not right now. Not today. Let's create my evasion setup for Bart there, because his base evasion is pretty good. And we'll go with the usual ether setup here. If you got some large ether stones, which are pretty rare drops, but if you have them, that would be great. But I don't. And as for Beards, even though... Uh, Beard has a relatively low weight capacity. I'm still going to load up on triple power magic anyway, because she'll still be faster than most of the things we run into anyway. And yeah, she just deals so much damage with air rods. It's obscene at this point in the game. But all right, I think we're all set and ready to go. By the way, there's one thing I neglected to mention when we had our limiters removed. Uh, since unlocking our 7 AP death blows, we now have access to hyper mode for everyone except Heimdall for some reason. There's a plot reason for that, but I'll avoid spoiling that for now. Uh, the way it works is you get up to attack level 3, so you do that preferably on your first 3 turns. Then you do something on your fourth turn that doesn't spend your attack levels, and you'll have a chance to enter hyper mode on the following turn. However, even then, there's a whole bunch of other factors that determine your chance of entering hyper mode, like your position in the party, your current HP, your actions in battle, and so on. But yeah, I suppose if we came here earlier, that hole wouldn't have been here, but now it is. And by the way, uh, once you get into hyper mode, then you get access to some stronger attacks. They and they can f consume less fuel for three turns or six turns if you have the holy pendant equipped. But I never use it for that purpose. Okay, so we got the Neo E-Tones again. These guys are a little stronger than the ones we met up with before, but I think they have the same drops. Yeah, you see on the right there where it says Hyper Mode? That's your chance of entering Hyper Mode, I think. Something. I don't really use Hyper Mode very much, so I don't know, like, absolutely every intricacy of it. But as far as the random chance of entering Hyper Mode... Oh. Let me see here. Ah, there we go. Yeah. But yeah, for the random chance of entering hyper mode, if you know what you're doing, boss fights should never last long enough for it to occur. And by the time they do last long enough, we'll be able to cap out on damage without hyper mode anyway. Ooh, wow. Two. Two sealed barriers. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that worked out pretty well. 
I was going to say, if I didn't have any seal barriers, I would just move on without them. It's not that extraordinary, and it's really only useful coming up here. Oh, well, how are they going to get away? They're in a cave. There's only one way in and out. But all right, let's change up the setup a little bit. Or, yeah, let's change up the setup now that we got those seal barriers. Yeah, I decided that I didn't want to refight the Neoe tones at the end of the previous episode and sit through a whole bunch of cutscenes to get to that point. But at least I got to show you that, the, yes, they do indeed drop them. Well, let's see what we got back here. Are we going in? Or... There you go. Ah, well, that was easy. You'd think they'd have a lot more security for a place like this. Mm, look at the shiny. So, where did Shikan go? Okay, so, why do we care about it? Ah, there you go! Well, we just kind of saw where you were going. Well, it did the gate and all that, right? And what is that? Well, what do you mean? Use it. It just creates the gate, right? And how is that? Okay, yeah. You just got a vacuum cleaner attachment? It was? I thought he just wanted it in Bari. Well, I didn't see another way in here, did you? Ah. Well, that's okay. We can still take him. We can nuke him. What do you mean? What's the problem? Ridiculous! Well, what do you mean? Are there any problems? I don't see any problems. Oh. <laughs> well, now you know how it feels like for your own equipment to break down on you unexpectedly. Ha ha ha. Three on one? I don't think the odds are in your favor. What the? Oh, not again. Ah, oh, well, he can move now. How did you even get in here? <laughs> Never mind, I should just, like, not question the physics of this game. Mm, I know that music. Shouldn't people, like, know who Graf is? I mean, it seems like... What was her name? Miang. It's like, the only person who knows about him, or ever interacts with him, it would seem. I would think others in the hierarchy would know. Besides, you don't even have an Omni Gear. Well, if you think you have the power, then go on. Are 
we gonna have to break through another invincible barrier by sacrificing an NPC? Maybe Margie? Will he be able to move, though, after you give him the power? I wonder how that move even works. I mean, it seems to only work in gears. And boss time against Shakan himself. Okay, so let's see. First things first. Or wait a minute. What do we got? Oh, I could actually use this stuff if I wanted to. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's show it off a little bit. Ignore the defense down part of that buff that is bugged to not happen. It's only the attack. Oh, I used the wrong one. Well, not that it matters, because really all I care about are the air rods. That's going to deal the bulk of my damage anyway. But yeah, Shikan here has some seal elemental attacks. So having the seal barrier or just seal armors would be helpful here. But we might as well debuff him. And as I recall, as far as buffs work, or buffs and debuffs work, if you cast one that does the opposite of it, I think you just overwrite it. It doesn't cancel it out. Yeah, that's the one I want. Okay, whoops. Not that Faye's gonna get another turn. I think one more air odds ought to do. Let's see. Shikan has 18,000 HP. Yeah, I figured I should attack him in the event that he healed himself just a little more. But I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Otherwise, let's see. Oh, he also has some fire elemental attacks. Not that I, I would really be worried about it, but it's there. Yeah, his damage. <laughs> yeah, triple power magic. You are a house, Ellie. Or your gear is a house. Oh, what's that? I forget what that does. I don't think I ever use it. I think that's... Isn't that like an ether attack or something? But we do get a better piece of ether armor that I will want to hold on to. So that's pretty nice. It's a guaranteed drop from the fight, so you don't have to worry about random chances and all that. Well, that power didn't really help you too much, did it? Finally overcame Roth's power at last. Well, you seem to be hungry for power too, Bart. But wouldn't she already be living in a desert? I mean, the whole continent is practically a desert. Where's all the forests and plains and snowy terrain and all that? Well, there was that one forest at the beginning of the game. But still! Yeah, I mean, like, 90% of the continent is a desert. There's even a desert right next to Nissan. It is? Oh. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Well, goodbye, Shikan. Don't bother getting out of your gear or anything. Oh, okay, we're just gonna walk out of here. Okay, that's fine. I thought there was something else. Oh, I wanted to check out that new ability we got for Faye. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Let's see. Yeah, it's a uh, ether damage attack there. I don't think I ever use that. I'll have to look into that, but yeah, I pretty much never use that. If I needed ether damage while in a gear, I would use air odds or what was that other one jesse cannon or like graviton cannon or whatever any of those would hit max anyway there are some other ethers that we can get but i don't have them yet 
eaters for years, that is, special options, whatever. Did it blow up? No last words from Shikan? That's it? Well, so much for Shikan. We will never see him again. No, seriously, we, we won't. He, he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. What's the problem? By whom? Oh. Well, they were kind of trying to murder you. Hey, all right. What do you mean, reparations? I'm gonna get something that looks a little more dignified than uh, pirate eye patch. Oh, yeah, because that would, that system of government would work so much work out so much better. So, are we just gonna unite the whole continent together or something? It's too bad we don't get to have any interaction between Bart and the Kaiser. Or any interaction with the Kaiser. So, what about Solaris? Aren't they gonna be kind of pissed? Not to mention, what happened to all the Gettler forces? I mean, we were just dealing with Shakan and some of those neo -E tones and stuff. Come to think of it, I don't think we saw anyone from Gebler during all of this. But yeah, what are you doing, Bart? It's good to be the king. And of course, like all good JRPGs, the protagonists are insomniacs. Absolutely. I almost said anorexic, but no, that wouldn't be right. Well, Faye might be anorexic if you look at his weight. Holy cow! What's up? Oh, did we? know anything about that? I, I thought there might have been one line about it when Sigurd was talking about what happened to him in Solaris or something. Oh, yeah, it worked somehow. Oh, there is one over there? I didn't know. How many religions do we got in this game, anyhow? Oh. I wonder what happened with her. Ah. Oh. Hmm. wonder what that was all about. Good. Well, it's awfully nice of them to leave your room just the way you left it. I suppose you're an insomniac too, huh?
Ah. Hmm, I wonder what happened to her. Maybe it was something with the the war with Kislev or Solaris or something or other going on. I wonder how uh, the king found out about it then. Well, couldn't anyone die? I mean, people don't just live forever. <laughs> oh, I thought he did know. Hmm, I don't know if they ever say why. But there's so many details to the plot that I probably forgot something. Huh? What's that? What inheritance? Oh, he said share their inheritance with the people or something or other. So, I, I guess he's... Sig is Bart's half-brother? I, I They had different mothers, I would assume. Well, I suppose you can at least give him one of the bedrooms around here. Hey, alright. Yeah, I guess Sitan and... Sig uh, took care of Gebler around here. What do you mean, other lands? What other lands? They don't control Ave or Kislev or Nissan anymore. Oh, or we could do that. Yeah, I'd be kind of worried about a counterattack, like nuking the whole city or something. That that would be bad. Hmm. Oh. Well, yeah, we did go over there. Yeah, I didn't see anything. How far underground could it possibly be? Anyone? Yeah, just use all of our most powerful ether. Ah, yeah, we kind of don't have years to wait around. That's... Couldn't they just, I don't know, create a gate around the gate so that no one could get to it? Hmm, if only we had an ultra-powerful cannon that would be capable of taking out the gate deep underground. If only. That's more powerful than our Omni Gear CD? Huh. Huh? What's going on? Oh, yeah! There was that. Yeah, we kind of ac accidentally took out a mountain. <laughs> yeah, we, uh... Might want to watch it next time. Well, we just turn it around and move. Okay, so we move the whole thing over there. Well, it is kind of on the other side of the planet. Sounds like a plan. Hey, hey, all right. Let's get going. Well, why not? We got it out of the ground already. Oh. 
Well, we got Shiva. That's got to be heavier than Fort Jasper. What cannon? Oh, yeah. I did kind of fool around with that thing over there. I was wondering what that thing was. Didn't seem to do anything at the time. Huh? Yeah, we can check it out. Well, what's the problem? Well, what do you mean? Beat me to it, Sig. Oh, hmm. Well, there were all those doors around. But we didn't have any way to move around with our gears or anything like that. Hmm. Do we have any options with that? Oh, I wonder what they would use it for. Well, light, I would think that's what you use a, you use a mirror for, but, oh. Well, I mean, a laser is made out of light, so. But that's like way far away. You know how hard it would be to aim something like that? That far away? Well, I guess just... Yeah, shoot it and... Aim the mirror. And hope we hit the right spot. No, I was just talking out of my ass. But, uh, yeah, yeah, of course it'll work. I would think the mirror wouldn't be wouldn't be the hard part. Oh. Well, that would be kind of hard to do. I mean, you can't exactly move the mirror up and down. You can only just like tilt it or whatever. But we'll pretend the physics will work. So yeah, at this point we're going to have to split our party into two groups here. And unfortunately, Sitan, I mean, he'll be with the Babel Tower group, but he won't be able to participate in any battles. So yeah, he's going to be out, unfortunately, again. Okay, that sounds like a plan. So I'm on for the Babel Tower party. I'm going to, well, we on, I'm only going to equip Fit, or Veltal and Veerge. So Billy is going to be in the Fort Jasper group, but just like Sitan, he's not going to be available in any battles. So Bart will have to be in that group. And no, we're not bringing Choo Choo along for that. I think we can choose our party eventually. But yeah, I, I would bring Maria to that group to be my nuke because, well, she's got the, I think she's got the third best ether stat in the party. Not to mention the special option to do it. Oh, uh, what's Elbru? I think, what is it? Ramses was saying something about the demon of Elru? Something with id or something?
Well, you're not showing me any loyalty. Why should he show you any? Really? Wow, it's been quite a while since the last time we fought him. What do you mean? So he works for you guys too, huh? Oh, hey, it's the, well, the four elements. I think we've only fought three of them, though, so far. You haven't gotten medical attention in all this time? Well, I don't think your ideals are that good, but I guess from their perspective they are. But all right, so now we're, well, we've liberated Ave. Can I, like, land here? Somewhere? There you go. So, yeah, we can actually go into Bledovic now if we really wanted to. I, I, there are a couple things that I might show off there, but if there's anything specific you want me to show off there, let me know. If you recall, there was a boy way earlier in the game who I gave like a thousand whatever money is a thousand gold to and well this is where that would pay off here but I think that's really the only thing that's interesting over there but it, if there's anything else you want me to show off let me know but can we make it in time before the elements get there find out next time on Let's Play Season Gears this is Ichi Bailey signing off have a good day